Hey everybody, welcome back to 3 6 Down the Line. We are playing the Halls of Art and Vool Mega Dungeon Campaign by Richard Barton using the Old School Essentials system by Gavin Norman. I am your host and referee for the evening. My name is John, and going around the horn we have... I'm Mike. I play Gorham Blackhood, the Dwarf of Destruction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm David. I play Onweir, the Illusionist. Uh... Known to get the party in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I, I am Matt. I play uh, Avaricios of Epirenus, the left hand of Lysio. <laughs> <laughs> and sad to say, uh, uh, Ted uh, is dead to us tonight. Um, I what think are you going to do? I think he's actually physically on a plane right now. So unfortunately, Ted will not be with us. But he normally plays Mort, his second goblin. Um, so... Yes, it's, uh, what is it? Today is February 15th, 2023. Here in uh, New York City, it's 58 degrees. <laughs> so <laughs> everything's wrong. fine. Everything's good. <laughs> um, Must be nice. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like 16 degrees in Denver, and like we just got like half a foot of snow. Yeah. Stop doxing yeah. yourselves. Good God. The yeah, lack of discipline here. I know. Right? Dude, I, I saw a coyote running down my street today. I was like, holy That's crap. Fun. Whoa. I didn't have that happen to me today. We do have a zoo owl on the loose in Central Park, which is pretty sweet. Uh, anyways, that. we don't do the, bitter, the banter here. We get right to the gaming. So let's yeah. get back into uh, Arden Bull. Sure, 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 sure. Um, <laughs> It is the 8th of Ligarios. It is currently about 10.30 a.m. in the depths of the dungeon. And they have recently made a, a spectacular jailbreak, um, uh, causing their jailer, Njal Okart, to have his charm broken by an area of the dungeon where they knew a, an active dispel magic effect was in effect, which was genius, genius old school play. Njal fought his way back, uh, heavily wounded, and uh, realized that he had been duped by Garalad, the um, the boss, the, the the strange gray armored boss of these uh, albino baboons that lurk in this uh, on this level of the dungeon, and he freed not only you but all of your fellow prisoners who are also adventurers from different adventuring parties who have found their way down to this area um, via various means. Um, one of those is a uh, large hulking bald uh, tattoo guy named Yost. Yost and Yost has um, uh, told the party about the means by which he and his group, which is Dalton's darlings, uh, entered this level, and they have decided to escape using his method because it would seem to be the most clear uh, as far as like an, an actual path out of here. Mm -hmm. So they have defaulted to that. Now they were hunted briefly by baboons on the way out of here, but they have secreted themselves behind a secret door. Um, and have been exploring eastwards past that secret door. Um, now, we have some logistical stuff to take care of. I want to make sure that both you guys and the viewers are aware of um, the situation at hand because they're trying their best to get back to the surface and they have loaded down with treasure. <laughs> so on their way back, they actually moved through the Hall of Judgment where they witnessed Garalad um, torture, uh, torturing one of the prisoners, who is not with you, by the way. You have a feeling he might be in a baboon stew. Um, but the behind the giant ruby throne, which in itself is a desirable piece of treasure that they have yet to figure out how to get, um, oh, they, found, yes. they found a huge <laughs> mound of coins, like a huge mound of um, uh, copper, silver, and gold. And all of the NPCs and PCs were just shoveling it into their packs as much as they could. Um, I said at the time during the session that we would figure out randomly sort of like what they were able to grab. Um, after figuring out carefully the encumbered slots available and the types of containers and all that kind of stuff, this is what this is what's going on. So, the total hoard that was actually available was a little over seventeen thousand coins. What the um, what you were able to take the entire party. I'm talking about both the PCs and the NPCs. The total you were able to take was twelve thousand and four hundred coins. So you had to leave about forty three hundred coins of differing values behind. So just be aware that there is a sizable portion of treasure that you just couldn't fit um now um speaking of, hmm? i was just to say speaking of sizable john i don't know if we ever really got the the sense of how big that ruby throne is is it like an armchair is this like a, a grand like you know it's, it's grand it's like a huge towering throne made out of a single what appears to be a single cut ruby um and it's standing atop a dais it's, it's so, very large it looks like it's very heavy 
Yeah, we don't need yeah. a dolly. We need a truck. Yeah, Mike. As a dwarf, can I ballpark what the value of something like that would be? Uh, no, unfortunately not. I would have to roll no. <laughs> it's just it's like you haven't even seen it be like anything like that before. Like un untold amounts of wealth, like you know, like set right. for life, sort of. Every every power in the in nearby realms would come after you for it. That that sort of that's that kind. Um, I love it. Now, so uh, we're not going to go into the nitty gritty of how many slots everyone has, but um, the uh, between copper pieces, silver, gold, and platinum, um, the vast majority, even though you have the least the least amount of what you have is platinum, that provides by far the largest chunk of actual gold piece value treasure. Um, but the total treasure value amongst everybody is 8,450 gold. That will all be translated to XP should you get it back to a safe haven. Um, but don't forget, too, that um, it's very likely that your fellow adventurers will demand some sort of cut, um, especially if they if help you. they uh, live. Right. Will, will they let us take it to the safe place and then give it to them? Uh, you Well, that's up to you guys to talk about. <laughs> um, what I'm saying is that if you as a party can get all of that coin, including the stuff that's on them back to the inn or to Gostawick, then you get the XP no matter what. And then what happens with the actual oh, money? Oh, okay. That's, okay. I was joking, but you're serious. All yeah. right. Yeah. Um, now, if they betray you and they take off with the money or they die or fall down a pit with it, then sorry, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work. It wouldn't take. We don't let them fall into a chasm. Check. Yeah. Now, uh, just so everyone can visualize it, um, uh, y'all, you know, Oakart is like a whiskin, right? Like the blonde hair, like kind of a big guy. Now he was wearing a chain hauberk. He's by far the best, best equipped because he wasn't a prisoner, right? So, um, uh, but he wants to carry his big battle axe. So he's just has his stuff, the coins in a backpack, but he's dual wielding his battle axe. The opposite end of that is Anaximander, who was the ancient guy that was sitting on the, the, the Oracle, uh, throne, right? Um, he is weak and he is carrying a small sack over his shoulder, but he is not armed. And in between is Samantha the Red, Tristy Iridel, and Yost, who are um, all carrying a small snack on one on on their shoulder, but are also wielding a weapon in the other. Okay, so that's how that's basically working. Just so you're aware that all except for Anaximander, everyone's hands are completely full. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Now, uh, equipment that was taken to the library when you were prisoner. So this is the stuff that was taken from you. And uh, depending on how much you value this stuff, um, it should be a big draw to get back onto this level. I'm thinking mostly about Onweir here. Um, the golden rod that you found in um, the pit of Arden's statue, that's been taken. Mm -hmm. Tresti's spell book, um, which was taken before you arrived, but her, her spell book, she would love to get that back. Um, the, uh, the spell book that was full of illusions in Irsko's lair, right? The cook. Um, Onweir's yeah. spell book. That's the Black big one. Spell books. Yeah. Irsko's recipe book was taken. Um, the black light, the cursed black light torch was taken. Um, and uh, uh, another very important one, that piece of Arcanum was also taken. All and right. the plus one dagger. Uh, yes, the carving knife. Yeah, that was taken back to Irsko. Um, that's like, so, but I'm talking about the things that were most likely taken to the library, to Isocritus, ah. right? The knife was probably taken back. Uh, and the recipe book was probably taken back to Irsko directly. Um, all right, we have Onweir, who has a concussion. Um, uh, that means that Onweir is going to go last in an initiative if you get into combat, and every time Onweir tries to cast a spell, which is probably not going to be an issue, um, he, <laughs> uh, there's a one in six chance of him, uh, all right, of, of him all failing right. that. <laughs> so you got that going on. And I think, um, and if we could just get an update for everybody real quick about hit points um, and spells known, um, where we're at with that. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll go. Um, I have uh, uh, six uh, beautiful shining hit points. Nice. Okay. Uh, I have one hand, and uh, I have cast all of my spells already. Okay, so everyone's out of spells. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll I'm spells. out. I'm dry. I can still turn things if I need to. I've got my little uh, uh, holy symbol that I made. Sweet. Um, but yeah, and I, I'm just using my one hand to carry a, a small sack's worth of uh, of coin. I've got the only thing I have I really have that I can use for a weapon if I need to is a crowbar. But okay. uh, I could I could whack somebody with that. If I wait, you to. don't have well the weapon. You wait. It's you, not ready, right? You you have weapons though the weapons the weapons that you 
Uh, the weapons, uh, well, the weapon that I was using yeah. was my curse torch, which is gone. But you don't have your other and, weapons? In your weapon? uh, I do have my other weapon, which happens to be a two-handed flail. Oh, okay. Right. So you're, but, okay, uh, but you do have it. Yeah, I just want to be clear that that was in I've, the I've, pile of recovery. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got it. I just can't do anything with it at present. Got it. Okay. So, uh, Anwir, what are you looking like? I have two HP, which is... Uh... Just one shy of the very impressive three maximum HP. Uh, <laughs> I have no spells. Uh, I have a staff, I suppose, as a weapon. Uh, and I'm, but uh, I don't have that uh, held because I have a large sack in both hands full of coin. Right on. Okay. So and... I'm just jingling and jangling, kind of doing the John Lennon walk, you know? Yeah. Keep, keep on, whatever it's called, keep on rolling. Keep you're, on. You're probably dizzy too. You just came out of a coma. Oh, I feel like shit. <laughs> but you know what I love? The look of rubies is and 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 and, and gold has given me a vitae that I've felt <laughs> yeah. since I met these ugly mugs. Totally. You know, um, in right, fact, cool. I think I'm probably muttering under my breath about the rubies pretty frequently because <laughs> I am a gym obsessed psychopath. It's true. Uh, yeah, if yeah. anyone <laughs> forgot, we've never seen anything <laughs> like it. Yeah, and Gorn, what are you Just looking? Nothing annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I am at eight of sixteen hit points. Mm -hmm. I have not cast any of my spells yet. <laughs> And uh, you have... oh. <laughs> he doesn't have these spells, <laughs> folks. He's a dwarf. for reaction from John, but yeah, there's <laughs> nothing there. Pearls before swine. Um, as far as like stuff goes, um, I have the wand that we got from the pit, which I'm going to hand over to Anweer if okay. you want it. Thanks. Okay, I do. And then I also have the plunger from the teleport uh, uh pyramid. They recovered right? the plunger from the pit, yes. Right. And so I have my short sword in my hand. And then the other hand is carrying a torch because we do need that. That's correct. That is going um, out in then, three turns. I have that marked down. Right. So I actually am not carrying that much treasure. I'm carrying like three slots worth of treasure in my backpack. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. right. Now, um, that pretty much does it. I, I want so. On weird, when you take the wand, which is very much sort of like a um, a Harry Potter esque sort of like sort of mm -hmm. wavy piece of tapered yeah. wood, right? Um, Does his hair go up? <laughs> and uh, there, you can see, however, that written um, in it's actually like illuminated, almost like a, like an LED light sort of thing on uh, near the base of the uh, of the wand is a mythric word, which you can ah, read. and that word fun. is Lucos. Which you know means light. light. <laughs> oh, Who took nice. Latin in high school? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, nice. yeah. So um, just be aware that, that, that that's what that says. It's more than likely that is a command word of some sort. Rad. Yeah, they wrote the combination right. I don't think. So, one more question, John. Mm -hmm. I have been very re remiss in this. Mm -hmm. How's Ibby? Is uh, Ibby still I've there? Been, I've been remiss. Yes, your bird, your bird, your little Ibis is still hopping around. Oh, good. Um, um, looking perplexed. Question. A little stressed. When I, when I had my uh, uh, detect evil uh, going on. Yeah. How do you look? Oh, uh, Ibby. Ibby did yeah. not did not detect. Good. I knew he was a good boy. I knew Ibby he would was never. a good boy. <laughs> That's out, right? You cast that a, a while ago, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was um, I cast it like um, a while, uh, yeah. right, right. Uh, oh, before even um, uh, Nial, we sent Nial down the hallway. Gotcha. Okay. So, so, that, um, so I know that uh, like he's okay, he's not inherently evil. The baboons aren't inherently evil. And of our little group, I remember the only one pinging was a certain illusionist down the hall. Uh, right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so don't worry about it okay. um, i'm sure it's fine i'm sure it's fine the NPC everybody's got something right presty doesn't isn't wearing any armor um she basically has like a dagger that's basically all she's she's basically like on weird doesn't doesn't really not really effective unfortunately right now combat wise yost yeah. um it uh uh yost does not uh believe in armor <laughs> <And so laughs> he is also unarmored but um but he can um but he has a uh, a large um, uh, bastard sword that he that he carries. Um, uh, Nyal has his two-handed battle axe and is heavily armored. He also has a shield, but it's strapped to his back so that he can hold his, his bag. 
Um, and Samantha the Red is wearing her painted scale armor that she treasures dearly. Um, and she is armored, uh, armed with a, uh, just uh, like a long sword. Okay. Um, she also has a shield, but it's strapped to her back as well. Uh, just so you guys are aware. So you guys are loaded for bear. Um, now you are currently in a room, which is very strange looking. You had two of the living mosaics, right? One showed sort of like a three-dimensional representation of what you guys determined was the hallway that led up to the secret door, right? And you actually mm -hmm, witnessed mm -hmm. the mosaic actually turn into what appeared to be baboons that were hunting you, right? And then they disappeared. Um, the other one was a very strange, beautiful mosaic that never seemed to move of like a huge hallway where um, statues were basically uh, doing a double column down the center of like a nave of some sort. And at the very back of that, and I kind of just described it as what like Plutarchian, I think is what I kind of made it like the perspective sort of thing. All the focus point, the horizon point of the, of the mosaic was on a, a huge statue of Thoth at the far end of this hallway. But you know, for a fact that you've never actually been in, or heard about this specific place. Um, and just to remind us, was there any movement that we saw in there, John? No, and that was key. It's almost like you 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 almost mistook it for like a non living mosaic because it was mm -hmm. it was just like it look it just looks like a mosaic. Yeah, you're, it's only because of your previous experiences with other mosaics that you assume that it probably is living, but you have not witnessed any um, animation. Sure. Um, now the the other strange thing, the two two other strange things in the room. There is a Thothian teleportation ring, which has none of the squares filled in. But just be aware, um, if you guys are not taking notes about rooms that you find these rings in, it would probably be a good idea, <laughs> right? Because well, once you the, once you yeah, find those squares, same, right? that is some good shit. <laughs> Believe me. Um, and then the um, and then the ceiling, which is a perfect representation of the actual night sky above. Uh, above Arden Vool, has all the constellations and star movements and all that sort of stuff. Um, looking extremely realistic. Very realistic. But I was actually curious about that, John. How high up is that? Is it... Um, uh, how high up is it? If we put somebody on shoulders, could we, like, like poke at one of the stars and see what it's made of? Maybe there are a bunch of that. diamonds up there, baby. Mm, yes, good thinking. It looks oh, to be about, right. like, 10 or 12 feet high. Um, so you can't reach it just by standing, but if you got it on my shoulders, you could. Like, especially well, let's do yours. that. <laughs> Tristy, Tristy is like looking very bemused. She's like putting her hair in order and trying to get herself ready. She's sure, just got sure. like, tapping one bit. Uh, who wants to? Who wants to go on shoulders? Well, I'm short, so I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, I can. Um, I can. Well, go ahead. I was your I'll, idea. I'll do it in, in case. Yeah. yeah, in case you fall, you would die. Sure. <laughs> you, got one, exactly. I mean, you got one hand, dude. How are you gonna like hold on to Yo's head and pull out like gems? Uh oh. Uh, okay. Details. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm, fine, just gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'll just go up there and look. And if okay. it's something, you know, if it's worth any yeah. time. Okay. We'll so you climb up. You climb out top of Honor's shoulders, and um, you kind of take a look. Um, it doesn't look any less realistic when you get close up to it, but you can definitely see that it's um. Um, it is not. It is not a real representation, right? It is actually art, an artistic, you know, painting. If I if I poke at one of the stars, does it seem like something that I could take? Uh, no, it does not actually. Damn. Yeah. Does it, what does it feel like? Uh, the, the, is it painted the on there. Or? Yeah, it does. It actually. Yeah, it, it feels like paint. But um, it's just exquisite detail. Like you know, those artists that can like like make like photo real paintings or charcoal drawings where it's you know, like, okay. like all the wrinkles in like an old guy's face or something like that. You know what I mean? But it's like, yeah. how is that not a photo? Um, that's mm -hmm. like what it's like. You know what I mean? It's I might have met a guy like that once. <laughs> is that right? Um, uh, all right. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing good up here. I mean, it's really impressive. But uh, let's let's keep going. I want to get out of here. OK, oh, you got three. It. You have. Uh, yeah. So everyone's um, none of the NPCs are at except for an Aximander um, are at full health. Um, as well, they're all you know from the from being in prison. They're not looking that great. So just be aware too that um, a couple of hits will down, except for Nyal, A couple of hits will down any of them. So well, even Nyal got took a lot of damage. Oh, that's true. I'm sorry. You're right. Yes, he got healed for a seven by. Um, he did get healed. I did a, I did a, good, a good heal on him, but uh, yeah, that's good because that was my last one. Um, okay, let me switch over to Albert here for the folks at home. That's where we're at. 
Um, they are currently in uh, what Ted has labeled 17, but I can tell you straight off, he's so wrong about that numbering. <laughs> well, it's just like in, in order, right? Like we're just... It's the 17th room you've explored, but let me tell you. <laughs> um, I'm not surprised. Okay. Um, right, so you are in 17. Uh, back over here is a secret door. You're fairly sure that the living mosaic that was on the northern wall of the room you're in depicted this hallway. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right? And you have no idea what the southern one was actually depicting. Um, teleportation is, yeah, Ted's got it all good. Looks good. Uh, so uh, there is a, a hallway leading east. Um, be aware that you are literally with the guy who has traveled through here, right? He's given mm -hmm. you some information, right? right? Um, I was... Yeah. I was just going to ask him, uh, looking at the the mosaic on the southern wall, is is this the is this the room that you're talking about with the statues who, who uh, you know that killed your party? No, I don't know what this is. I came through was here before and I was rushing. I was I was upset because I was just separated from my men, but I didn't have time. But I look at it now and I've never been in this room. I recognize no, I Fosso. Could <laughs> I could listen to you talk forever. I right? <laughs> Um, uh, oh, wow. you'll, you'll warn us you, right before we get to the room with these, these dangerous statues. Yes, there are two. It's, there's one more chamber down a hallway, and then another hallway. It leads directly to the room where the guardians are. Right. Let's uh, let's just be no. the mindful and careful, huh? Well, they are in the next chamber over. There's there's no danger as far as I know, but there are there are dead bodies there. If you are squeamish, little man, just be aware. I'm very squeamish. <laughs> it's all right, dwarf. I will protect you. All right, perfect. Just stand between <laughs> my legs. I'm absolutely fine with you protecting all of us. This is this is absolutely okay with me. <laughs> uh, so when they uh, the new hero of the party, <laughs> <laughs> old GM. We, we all are in his shadow at this point. I think. <laughs> save us, yo, save. Us. What's it like yeah, yeah. to have a positive strength score? I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you're gonna so let's take a look. You're gonna creep down there. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have a, we have a guest mapper for the evening, everyone. His name is Matt. Oh, welcome, kind. Matt. You, you're a wonderful person. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> you say that now until I screw up the map. Okay. Uh, all right. Get your blue pen out there, Matt. Um, I got it. I'm ready. Let's see where you're going. All right. You creep down into the darkness. Now the hallway only extends another. Um, it actually extends the total length of the hallway is only 20 feet before it opens up into a 30 by 30 foot room square. Um, and you are entering in from the middle of the Western wall. The, um, the corridor continues directly across uh, in, uh, to the east. So this is basically like a square 30 foot by 30 foot room. That just kind of continue. Uh, that looks first, beautiful. Yep. First room. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Uh, now, first thing is you notice that there are um, in the center. Uh, it looks like like the the dust that was in this room. It's, it's still a dusty room, but it has been disturbed. Yost confirms that it was him. Um, in the center of the room. Uh, the, the okay the, the walls themselves are painted a yellow plaster okay um it's similar to the yellow that you found whenever you came out of that pyramid onto this level right um uh other than that it's pretty there's not a lot in the room um there's no frescoes or anything that just kind of painted yellow you see that there are two corpses that are in the center of the room um i'm sorry they're they're not corpses you always lied to you. They're actually uh, skeletons. I'm sorry about that. Um, they are I mean, tomato, tomato, right? Yeah, they are. Um, but they, however, these skeletons, you almost mistake them for corpses because they are actually wearing uh, full length red robes and tall cylindrical hats. Okay, very kind of strange. Like, have you seen like uh, depictions of like the uh, pharaohs or like I think ISIS, some mm -hmm. like that, like these kind of tall cylindrical. Uh, headdresses that they wear. This is what these guys are actually wearing. Um, like, like Shriners? No, no, like, not like a Fez, but Fez? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like the like the statues. Like, you know, I'm, just Fez. Being an, I'm just being an asshole, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you can see that coming from the east, like beyond your torchlight, you can see that there's actually flickering torchlight 
barely visible in the hallway to the east. For one thing, okay? Otherwise, there's no other light except for your own torch here, Gorned. Um, you can see that the... Uh, it's very easy to see that um, the bones of these skeletons have been crushed, right? They're, they're crushed and splintered. One of them is wearing boots, which are still on the on the skeleton, and those boots uh, look in very good shape despite what the obvious age of the skeletons are, made out of like a like a deer skin leather. Um, the uh, the other one um, has a belt pouch on him that you kind of notice besides the robes. Mm. Um, they both have something that is dangling around their neck, which looks like some sort of uh, like a necklace or something of, of some sort with a symbol, but you can't quite tell from this distance. Like it's sort of like under them, not really reflecting the torchlight. Okay. And Yost, this is the chamber with the guardians, right? No, this is it. I said there was the corpses <laughs> in this room, and then down the hallway. The, the, sorry, I'm sorry. I you got to pay attention. The next room. The next room. Where you, you see the torch light? The torches are always think... lit in that room. This is that is the room where I was separated from my friends. Do you, you think he's don't guardians? Don't mind the the small dwarf. He is much like when you dig a large journey with a child, asking when will we get there. <laughs> uh, he will ask you if this is the guardian room at every room until we arrive at the guardian room. These are not guardians. Yeah. These are just skeletons. I'm very you paranoid. That like paranoid keeps me alive. Hey, no, I get it. I'm I'm fucking with you. I'm not interested also, in like, the bodies. Also, like the question. The question is, is do the Guardians follow people out of the chamber because mm. these guys are crushed? That I could not right? tell you. I had the right. symbol. It protected me. But they did not follow me into the corridor. All right. Here's what I would advocate we do, right? You've got your crowbar, Avaricios. Why don't we do our old trick of hauling bodies out of rooms and try and drag one of those skeletons over to us with a crowbar tied to a rope? You oh. want to try that? I mean, we're, we're in here. I'm just going to go up and poke one. Uh, okay. Yeah. YOLO. I, <laughs> I, go up and, I go up and poke one, but I want to see what's around their necks. Yeah, Samantha kind of nods there. her head, and she's like, yeah, let's, I don't know what we're waiting around for. And she kind of comes up with you. I mean, I, and I, I'm actually very curious, like, her reaction, like, seeing the, the red robes and noticing, like, that's her kind of color. It seems yep. to be something that's associated she, with She does Seth. not seem to do anything weird or kind of any sort of recognition or anything like that. But you can see that, like, all of their eyes sort of light up, like, "Ooh, what's this?" You know. Um, anyways, you poke at it; they don't, they don't um, animate or anything like that. Um, they kind of like a couple more bones sort of splinter off. Um, it does expose what appears to be um, uh, that both of the corpses uh, have a uh, are, are bearing the necklaces that they have are holy symbols, silver, and they depict. A set animal. I told you about that, right? Like the square-eared mm -hmm, mm -hmm. creature, sort of thing. All oh, right. like the the jackaly kind of dog head. Okay. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So they are wearing. Uh, they have now. That, that's a have... prescribed religion, right? Like that's like verboten. Yes, it was. It was. It was okay during the, back in the ancient Arcanti, uh ancient Arcantos, but no longer. Although it is known that, of course, that um, Sedites there is a cult. You know. And you've heard rumors that there are there are sedites here in Ardenpool as well. Like, would it um, be illegal to like try to sell those? Like, would they be kind of black market any things? Uh, it it kind of. <laughs> I mean, it, it it it's not illegal to like have them. You know what I mean? Like, so if you could find someone who's into antiques, it's it, you know it's not an issue. Uh -huh. um, but the it, museum. It also reveals the one that was wearing the. Uh, Ever as you can tell, the, the uh, what we'll say this. Samantha points it out, right? She's like, "Oh, take a look at this one." She kind of points to the one with the boots. She kind of kicks him a little bit, like this one uh, got got the brunt of it. And you can see, like this particular uh, uh, corp uh, skeleton is like the the skull is like completely crushed in. Multiple ribs have been shattered, um, and um, like you know, just like lots of bones are just like pulverized right like just like really really rough like much worse than the other one um that's the one that's also wearing the boots and you can also see that um whenever you kind of poke at it that when the body shifts 
not only was it real the holy symbol, but it also reveals that he was lying on top of a uh, what appears to be an elaborately um, wrought iron key. I'm sorry, not iron, uh, bronze key. Ooh, like, I'll have to see like, it. Small, like this big? No, or? like like one of those like keys to the city sort of thing, like a big. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we need we need this. We need the cool key. Come no, not on. that big. I shouldn't say that. It's it's more like a small <laughs> key. It's just like super elaborate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we need the key. Would yeah? Would, would that take a, a like how how large is this? Is going to take up a slot or is it a no, tiny unencumbering no. thing? Un unencumbering. That that is definitely my speed. And Does who, anyone care if I try on the boots? You do it, man. All right. After I the door, John. No. Who, yeah, who does it look yeah. like they fit? I, well, I shake. I shake the feet out of the boots. <laughs> while he yeah. while he tries on the cursed boots, I'm gonna go tuck in my kid and I'll come back. Okay, okay. sounds good. Tristy, Tristy yeah. kind of looks over at you and she's like, you know, she just kind of looks. She's like, um, that's an adventure after my own heart. <laughs> 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 Loot the bodies. Um, All right. Okay. Um, yeah. So they uh, when you pull them off, so they are they're supple, like they're not like hard, sturdy, like workman like boots, right? Like they're they're like like nicely tailored uh, uh, sort of mid mid um, shin length boots made out of uh, supple fawn leather. And they are, um, and they are topped with like, they have like a ring of like soft wool on the top. Hmm. You okay. Put, you Do you feel on? any tickles on, they your feet? on my feet? They can. Yeah. So it doesn't look like they would, they would fit. Um, but the moment that you sort of slip your toes in, um, by the way, like taking off your boots, putting these on, that's all going to, you know, what you've done so far will take a turn. Um, okay. uh, when you uh, I think we have one turn left on our torch, according to my notes. Okay. So is it time to light another one, John? Uh, no, no, I'm saying like it, it, so far our turn has passed. So you still have two more turns. Okay. Um, uh, when you put them on. They seem to magically uh, fit around you and uh, clasp your feet well and shapely. Everyone can kind of see them sort of take on the shape of Gorn's uh, huge dwarf feet and fit really well. Yeah. Oh, how unfortunate. You don't seem to feel any different, but you can definitely tell that they're magical because it sure didn't look like they were going to fit at first. Got it. And how do they look? Do they look cool? I mean, I know. I don't know, I know how they describe, go with your own. I know you described them. Like, are they? I, am I fire right now? Am I? Just, I do a little dance. I don't know how they juxtapose with like your whole, your whole idiom. But has he, has he been dancing this whole time? Because I, really I, 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 were you a jester in a previous life, Goran? You are so good at this. <laughs> um, right, don't forget, so anyway. and the the other one. Uh, so that one was lying on top of the key. Uh, Everisios, you took the key. I do. So I just make sure you mark it down. Belt pouch. Um, also, it would be really helpful for me too, like if you guys, when you take certain items, um, that you sort of make a note on your character sheet, like where you found them. So if you need mm -hmm. like something like a key, if you're like, okay. I, I, I use the key I found in the door lock, like you're gonna have to remind me where you found it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you describe this as a, as a brass key. A bronze key. Bronze. Bronze. Yeah. Um, and don't forget the other one, the one that wasn't as quite as damaged, um, was carrying a belt pouch. That was pretty obvious. Yeah. I have a question. Mm -hmm. When I retrieved the gear from the chest, was my gigantic chef's hat in it? And follow-up question, mm -hmm. which is more becoming, one of these tall cylindrical hats or the chef hat? <laughs> <laughs> the, the cylindrical hat is way more badass. But uh, Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take one of the cylindrical hats and pop it on my head. Yeah, the chef's toque is, was still there, actually. I'll say that that was still there. Uh, David, one thing you might want to think about is uh, that you're going to go running into a room with two giant stone golems that like to smush guys that are like all set it out, and you're going to go running in there with a big old headpiece on. Oh yeah, no, I know, I know, I'm fully aware. Right. My question, my, I, will, cool I will say, I will say, <laughs> <I'm whatever. laughs> I, I do have, I do have a question on that though, because that, that that is something I'm curious about. Um, we know for a fact that the pendant of Thoth repelled the guardians. Yost, yes, yes. Uh, we don't have any evidence that they were attracted to Set, though. Correct. None of your compatriots were wearing Setite gear, were they? No, I don't think so. Okay. No, we're just adventurers. We are. We're all a religious. 
Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that does not mean that, that you're you're incorrect, Mike. I'm just curious. That's what actually not the true. One of one of the people that I was with was a was a cleric of Debelaton, a mighty mighty god. I mean, but he's not no set. Lucian, but he's all right. Definitely not Sid. All so, I'm saying is, is you're going to carry the, the holy symbol of Thoth through the room, which seems to grant protection. However, if you're also wearing a giant set hat, you might not get that. No, no, I understand. I, I, can, right. I can take the hat off before I go through the room. I can put it right back on and look just okay. as handsome. That's fine. But, I love but, that. But I, but I am curious, without like uh, spitting out on an unnecessary conversation here, I am just curious, as a mental note, uh -huh. What sort of, and this is not something that John can answer for us per se, but like something for us to think about what sort of uh, allegiances exist within these deities, right? Like, again, because I still get the impression that it has been like inhabited by many over time. So I'm curious if the Sedites are like overtly like anathema to the Thothites in this, in this space, right? Well, or are you... we just assuming because it's set? That they are right. Do we have any first-hand evidence that that's the case? Uh, you I can do, you... I can remember one. Yeah, like remember with the magic mouth, like right. they were like actively yelling at each other. Great. Remember, like, yeah, that's true. Okay, good. That's good to know. All right, that's all I needed to know. It, it is also common knowledge. It really doesn't matter what culture you come sure. from because because of a uh, um, uh, just how prevalent, uh, how much influence the Arcantian Empire has had upon the world. That mm -hmm. um, uh, if every school child knows that um, of the twelve that were worshipped back in ancient Arca in uh, ancient Arcantos, that um, there was great enmity between um, the the uh, the churches of Set and Thoth. Yeah, right. that makes perfect sense. Yeah, cool. Um, Thank you. Um, it's just it, the, what, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, I didn't want to interrupt. Go ahead. I was just going to say that the um, the presence of actual living like a like a, of a cult of set here in Arden Bull, that's news. Right? Yeah. Um there was always rumors of of um uh secret worship of set happening within the Empire, like cells and stuff like that, but they would always kind of keep to themselves. But the fact that you've heard um rumors that they are they actually are here in Arden Bull, that's kind of a big deal. One thing you haven't heard about is any actually extant worshippers of Thoth, right? You've only That's just what seen, I'm curious about. You've yes. just seen the remnants. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. I'm right. trying to no, find no, a picture no. online of like the kind of hat I'm, I'm thinking about, but... I'm getting some Morrowind vibes in my head, but I do know what you're talking about. Anyways, it looks... Or like that, it, that, in my like head, that you... Rama, Rama Tut kind of thing? Yes, correct. Just... Yes, that. That's what I'm talking about. If anyone could source that. <laughs> that <laughs> um, but uh, the... Um, I can throw it up on Albert. But the... It makes you look actually like a really badass wizard. Not that I yeah. can't picture it. You know what I mean? Like you got the robes and you got the cool. Yeah, baby. That's why. That's why I want to wear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Gorn's got those dope ass boots. Now we got that dope ass hat. Uh, right, so anyone take what, a look what, at the what's pouch? In the pouch. Yeah, yes. that's what's what I was going for next. While he's playing pouch? with his boots and his hat. Uh, so who's looking in the pouch? I will look in the pouch. Every soul is. It's gonna eat me. Okay, there are yes. there are two things in the pouch. The first that drops in your hand. Rock rubs. Is a heavy onyx figurine of a panther. Ooh. Yes. No, it is not Guinevere. <laughs> Get dreams of Drist out of your head. <laughs> Look again at the smushed body. Is it a is it a dark elf? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but it looks like it would be it's it's a solid chunk of well worked um it appears to be Arcantian in its aesthetics, um uh of a solid chunk of well carved on uh, onyx. Shape of a panther. It's pretty cool. Very nice. Looks like it would probably be worth 100 gold. I'm going to just... Uh, was there anything else in the pouch, or was that... Yes, the, what also drops into your hand is a vial of liquid. <laughs> yes, stoppered. Looks quite old. When you pick it up, it's as strangest looking uh, thing that you've ever seen, because um, floating in the bottom of this uh, bell-shaped vial, it looks to be like clear, maybe a little bit more viscous than water, but but transparent like water. But when you kind of shake it up like a snow globe almost, you see that there are motes of black specks that kind of mm. float and kind of, you know, rise and fall. They end up falling back down into the bottom of the vial, right? But then you shake it up again, mm. they kind of overflow. And then when you look closely at it, you see that the black specks are actually letters. What? Of some sort, oh. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. 
they look to be like the the letters of like the Archontian alphabet. Like it's the same letter that were used in Mithric, you know. But they're sort of floating around like like spaghettios, right? You know, but they're like black specks. <laughs> Okay. Um, by the way, you should know that uh, I do follow the rule in OSC that if you if you take a, a slight sip, you can determine the effects of a potion without actually um, suffering uh, harm, unless the potion happens to be poison. Oh. Well, what the hell, man? I want to take a little taste. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> The unless um, part, the unless part was the important part. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's nothing, that's nothing. You don't worry about that. Uh, you know what the good analogy of it, what this looks like? I mean, this is like a super low-class analogy, is, uh, you know Goldschlager? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. It's just Low like that. Class. how dare you? You're insulting yeah, and, my own. I, I look at the letters, do they spell, <laughs> this is poison? Is it, like, they do not, they don't, no. Okay. But it I has that it, skull and crossbones. It has the same viscosity of like looking at Goldschlager, right? Like it's completely transparent, sure. but a little bit thicker, right? And then um, the gold flakes in Goldschlager are sort of like the black flecks of these letters that are same, same sort that. of the way that it sits. Um, so you take a you take a little sip. We'll say it tastes like Goldschlager. It's cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamony. Yeah. I, I'm Hell the right yeah. guy, man. This is good. Um, a and prayer of thanks. You can tell that. Um, uh, how would it how would it sort of manifest uh, comprehension sort of wakes in your mind and you feel like no matter what sort of text you were looking at ah uh, yes 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 it would all make sense to you okay. it is a it is a potion of comprehension and it duplicates the spell read languages for 1d6 plus 6 turns Ooh. amazing Very different than read magic, be aware, right? Different spells. Yes, right. Yeah. This will come in very handy. Can I, uh, so I'm not uh, wearing a belt pouch. Can I just like strap this on? You can, but it does take up a slot. Oh, it does take up a slot. Okay, does anybody have a free slot? Because that will, that will put me down into 60. Uh, I would have to ditch something. I've got all of this money on me. Um... Uh, well, you know, I can I can get rid of something. I'm not getting rid of my canteen of brandy. Forget that. I need this thing. <laughs> that's holy to you. I know, man. That's talk about a holy symbol. Wait, hold on, hold on. A... Fair question. It's a belt pouch in which the potion existed. Would he not be able to put the belt on and have the potion with yes. him? Yes, that not... takes a slot. Yeah, the belt... but, it would, but it would encumber him still. Yeah, or it, would it count? If you actually as... read the description on the character sheet under equipped items, it actually includes belt pouches in there. So oh, it, you're right. I see, I see, I see. What's the advantage of having a belt pouch, even though it still would take up oh, a wait, slot? Oh, wait, I can't. I can put it in my equipped items. I have a slot there. Okay, okay perfect, I was just yeah. looking at the other ones. Perfect. Okay. What, that, what that allows you to do is quickly retrieve it without yep. taking like a whole round to access your backpack. Excellent. Okay. I was just, I was just dumb. That seems to be everything that you found of value in the room. Um, Yost uh, looks a little bit apprehensive about the flickering torchlight. From you know, he's sort of kind of yeah. reliving what kind of happened, um, and um, the other ones are looking a little, you know, like uh. so. Yeah, Trusty basically kind of comes up and she sort of taps uh, on Weir on the shoulder and she's like, "So, um, <laughs> what exactly are we going to do about these guardians? Our fellow Yost here has the symbol, but we do not." Right. All right. Uh, if 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 you don't mind, I mm. do have I do have an idea. Um, and he digs into his um, one hand, he digs into his backpack and I've, I've, I do have a ball of twine and what I would recommend is we tie around the holy symbol and we just go one at a time uh, Yost, is there a place that's uh, uh, safe on the other side where you can, where the statues would not attack so you can get all the way over there and then send, we could pull the holy symbol back and go one at a time the, the, If I remember correctly, the corridor continues on to the east and right beyond there is where the stairs were where we appeared on this level. So you could uh, actually like go down, like go into the corridor and go down and they don't actually attack you until you're in the room, yes? Yes, they did not animate until we actually walked through into the room. The corridor beyond was about, I would say about 30 feet before the stairway, we were, before you see the stairway they lit up. But, well, it definitely seems like something that we could try. Um, uh, and. Uh, I mean, and he would, and he would uh, put his one good hand on on uh, Yost's uh, shoulder, and 
And we, we are in this together, right? We can trust each other. Of course. I want to get out of here as bad as Hand you do. Hand me the idol. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <if> I, <laughs> I, I apologize. I didn't mean to talk over you, John. It, was, it just came out of me. It was, it was... <laughs> uh, Samantha's like, she's like, yeah, man. The sooner we get out of here, the better. I need fresh air. All right. All right. All right. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, let's, let's give it a try. I, I don't, if anybody else has any other ideas, I'm open, but that's what I got. I think it's brilliant. I love this idea. Okay. It's a fantastic idea. I'm it's here so for good. It. All right. So, uh, who who is going first? I do I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I have the torch though, so we okay. should probably light another torch and, and so we have one light source with each party. Well, I thought the room was lit. Oh yeah, the room was lit. Oh, yeah, you yeah. see, you see. What about light. on the other side? Uh, on the other side of the room, Yost, Yost confirms that no, they came up. They came up the stairs in darkness. Yeah, so I think we should have. Well, you a get, torch I mean, go. Get, get across and light it once you're like in that hallway. Mm. Well, I mean, it's easier to light. It doesn't matter. I take an unlit torch and I hand it to somebody else in the party, and we light a torch there. And then I will take the remainder of the torch with the holy symbol high over my head with the twine tied to it. Oh, first I guess you got to describe the room, and then I will. I will do. I will be the one to go first. Okay. So, but Yost, because he's actually experienced it before and has a holy symbol, he'll sort of like be side by side with you going down the corridor. Oh, together? Oh. Right, unless you don't want him to. Until you get no, to, I don't oh, there's going a corridor, to the corridor before the room, right? Right. Yeah, I just don't want two people trying to get in on the same holy symbol, you know? Okay. Yeah, one at a time. I think Matt's right about that. Okay. All right. So you slowly move eastward. You see that you're entering into a hallway that is quite long. And the, the torchlight itself was coming from quite a distance away. Um, so there's a period of darkness, like where it's only your torchlight kind of lighting it up. Um, but you can see that there is torchlight flickering down the corridor. So you move uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 70 feet to the east with no breaks in between. It seems to be a very linear path ever since you've actually entered through the secret door past the Hall of Judgment, right? Um, uh, which is kind of uh, strange because you haven't seen a lot of linearity in the in and, the dungeon yet. And the walls along here are, are what are they like? Smooth, Ar yeah, smooth, Arcantian, well, well mortared stone, um, with remnants of um, with remnants of um, you know, plaster and frescoes that have broken off. But you don't, you know, typical Arcantian make, which is what you've experienced in most of the dungeons so far. Um, and you find yourself uh, viewing what appears to be another, exactly the same 30 foot by 30 foot room, but vastly different than what you experienced before. The quarter continues on the other side. Before we get into that room, let's take a quick break and we will be right back and pick up where we left off. We will see you in just a second. Okay, we're back from a break. Uh, I just threw up a real quick picture there of um, a statue, a bust of Nefertiti, which is actually where I meant, not Isis. Um, uh, and what the hat actually looks like, uh, if it wasn't stone, if it was cloth. <laughs> um, so that's what that's what Onwear now has perched atop his head. Ah, oh, it still looks so good, so good. Yeah, it's pretty. Dope. I'm sorry so to good. constantly make you guys look like schlubs, but you know, <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> okay, so the room that you enter in this thirty foot by thirty foot room very different, um, as everyone tentatively, well, Gorand tentatively shines his torch into there. Um, you can see, first of all, that the room is lit with what appears to be burning torches on both the east and the west walls, uh, sort of on the northern sides of the corridors that enter and exit the room. Okay, um, It is richly decorated, unlike the yellow plaster, which was sort of unmarked in the previous room, this one is richly decorated in Thothian themes, much more akin to like the important rooms you've been in so far. Mm. Um, there are white ibises uh, that appear to be imparting knowledge to genuflecting humans. Um, uh, baboons smashing crocodiles, which you've seen numerous times, which indicates the rivalry between Thothians and Setites, um, and so forth, things like that. Uh, the ceiling itself is actually a beautiful the word that Richard used here was a cerulean blue, which was like a sky-like blue, um, studded with gold stars. So it's a little bit more crude, uh, sort of daylight version of what you saw in the pre in two rooms ago, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's more of like a like a typical fresco, but it, it seems to be t depicting a similar sort of scenario, except there's sort of like a gold stars depicted in a blue sky. Um, there are statues 
of ibis headed men in the middle of the north and south walls. They are both 12 foot, 12 feet tall, huge, right? Really tall. Um, they have granite bodies, uh, the bodies of human. They have alabaster uh, ibis heads and their eyes are begemmed. Oh, come on. What <laughs> color are those gems? <laughs> Uh, they appear to be a, a, a piercing sapphire blue. Oh, oh. fuck y'all. Um, now, they, uh, uh, Gorn has basically walked up to the art, to the, you know, the archway that leads into the room and shined his torch in there, which he realizes he doesn't need. The room is pretty well lit. Um, and nothing has happened. The whole scene looks very, very still. Don, where, where, uh, are, where's the location of those torches? I think I got that. They are on the east and west walls, just north uh, of the of the exit and entrance. Um, now, uh, you you're you're look you were you were primed to see the statues, right? So that your immediately your eyes are drawn to that. However, you see that directly behind the southern statue on the uh, is, a, is a strange depiction of something on the south wall that kind of tinkles your remember uh, uh, jogs your memory a little bit. Um, there is a uh, a large fresco of what appears to be an angry baboon, like a baboon with its its lips pulled back and shrieking, right? Um, and it's odd in that it does it is not depicted in the same way as most of the Archontean hieroglyphics and in, in frescoes, like where there are usually two dimensional um, profile, right? This is facing you, right? And kind of like looks like it's like ready to pounce sort of thing with its lips pulled back. And so you got like both of its eyes are staring right at you. Um, you saw a similar depiction of a baboon like this, this sort of like front facing way that's sort of looking at you in the same room where you were captured. Hmm. Right. Was that the I mean, there was a statue, but the, this image of it was on the wall. Is that correct? Uh, where you were captured? Yeah, there was that yeah. there was a. A statue in the room, and there was this, right? Uh, I don't remember if there was a statue. There was a sword on the ground that you'd never picked yeah, up. There was like a skeleton. Well, we yeah, were a little a busy. Yeah, there was a, yeah, you were, <laughs> I think, yeah. you were going through some shit. But you did, it, that's why it sort of jogs your memory. Like, I think we've seen this before, but then you kind of remember that you were under a lot of duress at the time. Um, but um, yeah, it's just weird because it, it's, a, it's a normal fresco, right? It's painted in the Archontean style, but um, the way it's depicted and that it's front facing. Is, is odd. Um, but now that is basically blocked almost entirely by the gigantic 12 foot tall ibis headed statue. And that's on the southern, the middle of the southern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, All right, I'm ready. Are, you, are we ready? That's them. That's the statues. <laughs> is there any blood or brain matter on their fists or feet? Uh, no, there is not. There does look to be like the dust has been uh, uh, like very disturbed here, right? Like actually, I would and say there's probably no dust. Are these regular torches or are they magical torches? Can't tell. They seem to be flickering normally. It's like they really look just like that when I came in. I don't know who lights them. I think the last person through should take one. Yeah. I know how All I'm right. getting across. How are you going to? All right. We tie the twine to the holy symbol. Say one at a time. I'll go first. When I get to the other side of the room, I will drop the holy symbol and you guys pull it back on the twine. Then the next person comes through. This is Matt's idea. Yeah. Is he okay with that? I'm totally okay with that. I mean, are, are you? you not, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with using my idea. Uh, <laughs> the, the holy symbol, John, just to make sure, is this like glass or something? Like, what's this thing made of? Is this going to break when we do this? Yost holy symbol? Yeah. Uh, Yost is uh, metal. It's like a, like a, I would say, like not, not too okay. valuable. Okay. Yeah. It's like right. steel. Yeah. And, I think we're all in on this plan. Do we want to softly encourage Yost to go after us rather than before no, us? No, I or... think I think we have to alternate it, David, because okay. if there's something else on the other side, frankly, I don't 
really need you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I understand. I'm I was speaking more to whether uh, our prison mates will uh, up and run per the Indiana Jones thing. But it's just like let's see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. let's I would let's... say that we have some pretty good will with them right now. Hopefully, yeah. okay, just who's... because we did save their ass. Who's Famous last in? words. I'll go first. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go first. Yeah. Okay, and then and then assuming that I'm not dead, then Yost, then what, I think what, Matt. What do you do? I am going to tie the twine to the holy symbol, mm-hmm. right? Because it's like an ankh, right? So there's a loop that you can tie it to, right? Yep. Okay. With no weapons in my hand, I'll put my my sword in my sheath. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to hold the holy symbol above my head. And I'm going to take a step into the room and I'm going to present it to each statue in turn. Okay, cool. You step in. The first step you take, you hear like a... And they they separate themselves from the wall. And they present, they basically come right into the center of the room and face you like they're in perfect unison. Um, From the deep within like the, the beak of this stone, right, you can hear like something... It just like a gravelly voice kind of come out just like you can't understand the language at all and they um they have uh actually let me check if they've got uh carrying anything one sec um no they just it's just their huge fist they basically cut like we'll just say like their fist kind of come out like you know and they and they I, I say the name Thoth in a loud, clear voice, and they take one more step forward. They basically, like, they're, uh, they're standing right in front of you, and as you take a step forward, they go, <laughs> and they open, like, a pathway for you to go through the middle of the room. I'm getting never-ending story you. vibes right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Holding the holding the symbol above my head, right? Yeah. Making sure that twine isn't going to get caught on anything. Yeah. I will slowly make my way through the room. Okay. You move through. It's very sort of like very tense. Back in the hallway, like Tresty, like unconsciously just puts like a like grips your shoulder on Weir. You know what I mean? And you can hear like everyone's breath, just like holy, shit, you know. <laughs> I stuff I stuff my hat in my bag real real quick. All of a sudden, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you just hear like y'all under his breath. He's like that. That ain't right. I don't, I don't uh-huh. like it at all. Um, and uh, he goes, that that is one dowdy dwarf. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> as you as you, uh, as you move through through these guys and. Um, um, after you pass into the other hallway, they they go and they march back to their original positions on the north and south wall. Now, here's where it gets funny, guys. Let's see if this works. I'm not going to just drop the holy symbol, John. Also, wait, can you just describe the hallway past me? Yeah. Uh, so the hallway past you, you are carrying the torch, right? Yeah, I am carrying a torch. They have a yeah. torch back at the other party, too. So it goes, it, the hallway is 10 feet wide, and it goes down another 20 feet to the east before it opens up into a small 20 foot by 20 foot chamber, which is at the edge of your torchlight. In the direct, in the center of that chamber um, is a, indeed, a granite stairway that only goes down. Jo- Yost was telling the truth. Okay. Um, is, you do see that the there are. Is center though? There are uh, the, there there is the shreds of like cobwebs and stuff like that on the staircase itself that are sort of like waving in the in the draft. That's it. Okay, I'm not going to go into that room yet. I'm going to kind of shelter in the hallway. Okay. Right? Okay. And then I'm going to carefully lay down the holy symbol. Okay. And. I wonder if I should wrap it in something that just so it doesn't dingle dangle clink all the way across the floor. Got anything? I don't know. Yeah. Um, can I cut like a strip of cloth off my um, off my uh, uh, cloak, like about six inches, and just kind of wrap it, and then make sure that the dot on the holy symbol is is sure. Yeah. I remind really re- well done. That's fine. Remind me, did you light a new torch, or are you still using your old one? So I have. The one that has like about a turn left on it with me. Yeah. I gave an unused torch that we lit 
to the party back there. Okay, who's carrying that torch? Okay. Anyone with a hand free? An Aximander has a hand free. Okay, perfect. And he can. Okay. He's... All right. So that there's always one torch on either side of the of the thing. Got it. Okay. And uh, and then I'm going to put the holy symbol down. If they can see me, they should be able to see me, right? Because uh, I'm lit. Mm -hmm. The room the room is lit. Yep. I'll give like a little pull on the twine, and and off they go. And reel it back in. Uh, okay. Quick, quick pause before we continue. Did anyone grab one of the sedite pendants? Yeah, we those took cards? those. We did. Okay, I missed that. Sorry. Cool. Uh, when, holy... when John told, yeah, when John told us that we could, you know, sell them to an antique store or whatever, we said we took them. I mean, we should keep one in case we come against some sedite guardians at some point. But yes, uh, encumbrance yes, cool. is a big Sorry, issue continue. now because you're trying to get all these coins out of here. Each holy symbol takes a slot. Can you wear it? Uh, it's still it's still a slot. Like it's like a, it's just it's just a rule. Like holy symbols are. are can slot. we can we empty out a slot's worth of um copper and leave that in the dungeon hallway? Because I think we're full. We have like no slots available, but silver's worth more you, than copper. You have right. I mean, you can go down just, to a lower movement rate. Yeah, that's just it's just going to put me to um sixty. Actually, it's if I well I can't hold it. Um, yeah, I would not, just, hold, it, it, I would not hold it. Yeah. <clears throat> We just have me at 60. Uh, don't go to 60. I can wear it and go to 90 instead of 120 if you're already at 90. Well, I mean, but... Oh, are you talking about the the, uh, the set one? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, I don't want to carry that thing. But I was yeah. going to put it in my bag, is what okay. I'm saying. Yeah, I don't do have to that, too, because bag. otherwise he'll drop the 60. Yeah, so I'll do that. Cool. Okay, I have a set. I, I only took one, though. All right, let's uh, empty out some copper. And just leave copper here, dude. It's it's all mixed. That's gonna take like t t uh, two hours. It's, so it's kind of like the whole yeah. thing is we can't mm -hmm. parse through it. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just, it's fine. Let's, let's just do it. Let's just, just okay. move forward. I didn't mean to yeah, yeah, send us on a rabbit hole. All right. So you <clears throat> you basically are placing the um, the holy symbol on the ground, and then they're reeling it back in, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it slowly moves across the room. The statues do not move as you take it back. It's quiet too because you cracked it. I think we should send an Aximander next. Just in He's case. got the torch. Uh, can okay, you send somebody that can you send somebody that can help me fight if there's a fight? Uh, like Yost? Okay. Uh, Yost. You go next. Right. I'm on it. I don't need that holy symbol. I have my own. He's, he, he brings it out. Do you, do, do you want wait, me no, to take your That's the one we that's the one that's we've the been one using. using. Huh? We're using the one that he pilfered into prison. Oh, 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 right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so it no. is his. Whoa. <laughs> we give it. We give yeah, it yeah, back. Yeah. To him. I should, we shouldn't have said anything. Never mind. I just had. A, I just had. A, I just had a brain fart. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. Uh, so yeah, he, uh, he's he's like, all right, here we go. Um, and he just he sort of he doesn't walk casual. Like he's very you know he's got his sword out you know, but um, he's like, hear me, yes, okay, and they and they say the same thing. Um, and he marches through. See, perfectly safe. He puts it down. <laughs> well, I, I fist bump done? him when, we, when he gets over there. Mm. Okay. So, uh, does everyone do the exact same thing? Is no one stopping in the room to investigate? Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Are you going to go? Are you going to go last? We'll go last. Okay. So everyone the does. Only... Everyone repeats yeah. this, and everyone's over on the other side. On where? Do your thing. The the thing I would like to do, and I'm going to do it very cautiously, because if I get an indication that it's going to get my ass killed, I'm going to stop doing it. Okay. Is I want to approach like everyone else did. Mm -hmm. When I am closer, or when I am um, perpendicular to the fresco of the baboon, mm -hmm. what happens, still holding the symbol, if I take a couple steps right? Do they, like, uh, uh, get aggressive? You're, you're, you're presenting it, right? I'm still presenting it. I just want to get closer to the fresco, and I want to make sure I don't have to like beeline it straight through through them, and they're not going to attack. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you pr you present it as if they were like a doorway, so yeah. to speak, opening to my clearance, and yeah. I want to make sure I can walk to their right and not have them thump my head. Yeah. So when uh when you kind of move forward in the room and present, they they yes. they separate out and form that passageway between them, and then when you move slightly to the right, they don't move at all, and the door that that passageway is still open between them. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna just look, take a closer look at the baboon mural. Okay, so yeah, it, it, rather. it is as I described. It is very sort of weird. It does not match any other art that you've ever seen. 
it, all you can do is you can confirm that it is definitely Archontian, right? Ancient Archontian. So it, it falls in line with the general artistic style, but just the way that it presents um, uh, face front is very, very odd. Um, the eyes, um, uh, it's the eyes basically, right? Like the way that they're kind of staring at you. Can I look closer at the eyes? Uh, yeah. Can, gemstones. Yeah. So everyone's just like, you could hear people like whispering from there. They're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Stupid. Come on. Yes. Come on. You, and like Tressie's just sitting there just going, yeah. <laughs> I, in fact, I should have looked over and I'm like, yeah, yeah she's, you know, you she's like warming up to you a little bit. She's like, <laughs> yeah, sure, kindred sure, spirit. Sure. Um, she, uh, but yeah, so you look a little closer at the eyes and you can see that when you look at it closely, um, it's painted, right? The eyes are painted, but you can see that there is a fine, very fine seam of stone that outlines each eyeball in the socket. It isn't just paint. Okay, I'm going to poke it. Do you do what? One eye or both eyes? Three stooges. Yeah, why not? Both at the same time. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> When you poke the eyes, they depress, right? Okay. So they, they, they give way to your fingers and then they move further back into the, into the stone. So it's like a chink and then like a as they move backwards. Um, the section of stone, like a square piece of stone that frames the baboon uh -huh. moves back and shink. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I turn around to look at the party like, hey! I almost dropped that. I don't want to I'm like, huh? You know? <laughs> um, the, so the, uh, okay, so a couple of things. What do I see? When yeah. you look, first of all, you don't have a torch, right? There's torches in the room, though. Yes, that's true. Yeah. I'm just saying that you, it doesn't like light. It, it, it lights a, a little bit. Yeah. So you can see that there is a 10 foot wide passageway that leads directly south for 20 feet before at the edge of the available light coming from the room it leads to a um a stairway that leads directly upwards um, okay now uh, the, the hallway here is uh, lit by the way is painted with vibrant images of what appear to be human heroes smiting enemies of thoth it looks like magic users warriors veiled figures and uh and it looks like they like they they look like heroes like adventurers right almost um and they're fighting uh giant frogs it looks like the paint looks weirdly fresh although there's a thick layer of dust it's almost like this place has been preserved and untouched for millennia right like a long time like no one has been down here in a long time unlike all the like the faded plaster of the walls right um oh baby yeah. I'm, I'm trembling, I'm trembling. <laughs> okay. so okay what i'm gonna do all right my mike's face if, if listeners on the podcast the the, the Yo, she's like, i didn't know i didn't know it was here so i'm going to carefully holding my symbol lay down the gold i was holding mm -hmm. get my lantern out is it possible to light my lantern while holding the symbol? Um, or can I step a step into this room? Can I step into the hallway 20 feet? How about that? You can certainly do that, yeah. Okay, I'm going to step into the hallway 20 feet. Yeah. I'm going to lay my sack of coins down. Yeah. I'm going to look back over my shoulder. Did they move back to a neutral position because yes, I'm not in the do. room anymore? Yeah. Okay. Now, you're. I'm gonna, so to be clear now, you are basically in total darkness because the southern yeah. statue actually basically covers your your. Totally understand. Yeah. So now all I'm going to do is light a lantern just so I can get a full lit look into this hallway in the stairwell, and okay. then I'll come back around to the boys and report. All right. So that takes a turn. This whole thing. Like, is that okay hey, with y'all? This is not not just on weird, but like everyone moving through, and then on weird's little escapade mm -hmm. takes a turn. So Goran, your torch goes out. Right. Your... I light another one on the ashes of the first one. Uh, okay. An Examander has one going. Okay. So you guys are all lit. You want to just stay with that one? Okay. Why don't Why don't I take the torch from an Axamander then? So that okay. I have... So you've got it. Okay. So that's going to go out in five turns, um, and then uh, on where you just lit a lantern. So uh, one, yep. two, three, four. This is and I had twenty lantern. turns left on it. That is on where's lantern. 
Okay. Oh, that you're that you're letting your your existing one, right? Right. Yeah. It was twenty turns. I had twenty, so now it's nineteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that's one hundred percent. Got it. Okay, just get the keep track of that stuff. It's important. Um, right. So, you guys are you guys are sort of. Let's let's switch over to the other party right now. So you guys are over on the other side. You see the staircase. It is well lit now, right? Um, Onweir has basically disappeared. You know where he went, but like the statue is basically barring. You know, like it's it's you know, like the statue is in the way, and he just went. <laughs> he just went in there. <laughs> now you can sort of see what you you, you do you now. It's silent, right? Everyone's just sort of like kind of breathing heavily, like looking around, like what do we what do we do? And then you can you can kind of hear like a, and then you see like light sort of bloom around the back of the statue from Onwir's lantern as, you know what I mean, as it sort of silhouettes the back of the statue. Onwir, Onwir, you can hear. Him. Are you dead? Okay, <laughs> I found a passage. It's filled with depictions of heroes, a little meeker than myself and and you, Avaricious. Can't speak for everyone else, but <laughs> heroes, nonetheless, it seems to be undisturbed for millennia. Must... Yes. This is Samantha. She's like, he's a fool. He's a. F you, we should just leave him. The stairway's right there. We, we can, cannot leave. We he cannot will be the death him. of you. There's a many things. Not wrong. Here that <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely he has, not wrong. Yeah, he has nah. tried many times. He has yet to succeed. <laughs> This place is uh, place is cursed, I tell you. There's too many of those goddamn secrets around, I swear. Um is, just a, this, an observation as a player. Sorry, go ahead. I'm going to say to them, you know, this this might be a way directly up. I mean, we might be able to be if we go who knows, it might be a way out. So this is you're you're on the same thought prod pattern as me. It may or may not be, right? But my 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 thinking is like when let me just check the notes to be sure yost descended or ascended to this floor let me see he so yost, if we, if he we go ascended. down we'll go to the house he came from level three by the way you have not fully interrogated yost about like his route like 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 yes you, you just know vaguely yeah. like he we should he was around yeah. the halflings and they While crossed David's the chasm doing this here's what i'm thinking sorry mike one second Here's what I'm thinking. It, this may just end like lead to some chamber, et cetera, et cetera. I also don't want to like do this without y'all's interest and or uh, a, a agreement. But the halfling chamber was after a very long descent from the pyramid, which also was above ground, right? So we know it may not be quote unquote floor one, if that makes sense. But it is fairly high up within the, the strata of floors, I'm guessing. This is ascending, which makes sense. It could theoretically ascend into the palace. It could ascend into an, an above-ground structure. It could just ascend into another floor that's in between where the halflings are and, and above ground. I think it's worth investigating, but I'm okay if y'all are too nervous about doing it now. But if we could skip the halflings and then taking 900 gold from us, that'd be pretty fucking rad, right? Totally so that's, what, totally I'm, that's what I'm thinking right now. So yeah. also just in uh, in the world itself the yes. the npc party like hears that you've seen like a, a stairway up yes if you believe what yo says yo says that this stairway well, it's pretty obvious like it goes this goes down they're all thinking they want fresh air right like they they want to get out of here so the moment yeah. they hear that there's a stairway up and rather than going down they're all about that now yost actually contradicts them and he's like he's like but listen if we go down we talk to the halflings, and we know that there's a passageway right up to the top of the pyramid. It's pretty the direct route. Well, it's not that direct. I, I actually took a kind of a... We had to kind of climb across the chasm, and that was not a fun thing to do. But up there, Wait, there's climbing? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I want I, to go up the mystery stairs. Did I forget to mention the climbing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, gang, sorry, real quick. All of you have frozen for me, but I still hear you. Do you still see and hear me? Uh, yeah, David, you've actually been... Yeah, it's it's I'm been frozen. it's been a thing the entire night. Apologies, viewers, uh, it, some stuttering, but audio's been fine. It's okay. Yeah. Do we want to pause real quick and me reset my camera and then restart? Uh, it's not you. It's not you. You're fine. Yeah, I'm saying, but y'all are all frozen for me. I mean, I can just. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It doesn't matter. I can hear you. 
Are we making stupid faces? Because if we're making stupid faces... Uh, we're you are. Yeah. I will try not to interrupt uh, your frozen faces. But yes, go ahead. Sorry. Everyone, everyone's in motion on my end, which is the only end that matters. for the <laughs> There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so continuing. All right. So can I just... I'm going to kind of side with Yost here a little bit. A, I want to interrogate him a little bit more about the climbing aspect. We have rope. We have a good amount of rope, right? So with rope, is it doable or is it like people plummeting to their death? Well, if you're not a good climber, then it, yes, yeah. the, the chasm is, it's the great chasm. It, it, you, there is no bottom. You will die. Now we okay, used, fuck we, that. No, we <laughs> used no bridge. We, there's no bridge across? There's no bridge. Uh, we oh, were, oh, our hands are full. We can't get no, out. You, you are very capable. I can tell. We used, we are Dal Dalton's darlings. We are an adventuring band just like you. We are equipped. We had grappling hooks, and we throw them across, and then we, well, we saw something that was very, very strange. There was, like, creepers, and we saw some sort of round door. It was very strange in the side of the chasm, but we didn't have the time. We were climbing, and we, uh, we put in pythons and rope, and then we kind of traversed across because we saw a tunnel, a tunnel, and uh, that's what Plumthorn pointed out to us, and we found a tunnel. And we moved through it. We crawled northward. We entered into an area that had some coffins. And uh, uh, the, one of our fellows tried to open one of them. And poison spears shot up from the ground and killed kills come of our, our henchmen. But we were able to escape. It was fine. And we traveled eastward for a little while. And we entered a magically lit circular chamber. And it had a fountain with a baboon in it. And then Helga, she drank from it. And she was cured of all of her injuries. It was amazing. And we all drank, of course, and felt wonderful after we did so. And then we traveled north and then a little bit east, I think. And then we were confronted with two doors and a passageway to the south. And we decided to open the northern door. And there was a step leading upwards. And that okay. is how we arrived here. So, <laughs> I, am, I am captivated by your storytelling. It <laughs> sounds, <laughs> sounds like uh, Yost uh, uh, had a, uh, or Nial. Yost or Nyal? I, I, no, anyway. That was Yost. Yost. That was Yost. Yost, sorry. Sounds like Yost had a 20-session campaign of his own off-camera. <laughs> he was an adventure, uh, I tell you. We lost yeah. We lost a few men. And good um, men, too. But do you, have, uh, do you have a stream that we could go back and like watch? The, <laughs> mm -hmm. the most difficult uh, I, part was I, the traversal. But if we have rope, if you have grappling hooks, we can do it. it we, besides, I don't know we, if we have grappling hooks. Well, we left no, the we grappling don't. hooks. The grappling hooks are still there. All hands are full, or I'm my sure. hand is full. I have, to, I have to hold my sack with two hands, so I literally can't do that. I mean, but those I, halflings seem like nice fellas. I'm sure they did nothing with the grappling hooks that they are still there. Okay, all right, listen. Um, <laughs> okay, not to... Uh, love love our, our big barbarian daddy here, okay? <laughs> love, 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 a, love a muscle dad. But uh, I do think with this information, I pretty strongly think we should explore at least a little bit of the stairwell I'm at first. Let's just look. We've got let's just look. Let's, let's, look at, let's look where it goes a little bit. Okay, it's so, so much like safer open... than the nine encounters that Yost just described, all of which involved John hinting at monsters watching them the whole time and poison darts. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> Occam's Razor, let's like look at the secret stairwell where no, no. heroes go. No, no, no. You just misused Occam's Razor. The known <laughs> quantity would be the simple way out. You want to go wander through a whole nother potential, like unexplored floor full of death and dismemberment oh, while all of our hands full and we all have three hit points. But it's untouched. It's virgin. John, oh, what? I think it's untouched next time we come down here too. I, well, I can't um, believe it. I, I'm with I'm with the crazy guy. I think we should check well, out. On, on, <laughs> this let me, is how he gets you, me, Matt. This let, is how he gets you. Let me impart a little bit more information to Onweir sure. while he's down here. Okay. So uh, first of My all, lantern's lit. Yeah, lantern's lit. You can see that the uh, the stairway goes straight up as far as you can see, um, and the okay. So. The other thing that you notice, actually, you're kind of looking carefully around, right? Looking at all these kind of crazy images on, on this wall, is that about 15 feet down from the secret door, on the western side, so to your right, mm -hmm. um, it's actually quite easy to detect, is that there is a um, an obvious catch, like there's like it's almost like the paintings have sort of framed it, like in a way. Like where they're sort of surrounding what appears to be like an obvious like catch in the wall, like a lever. Well, you know, I love to pull a leather, John, a lever, John. Uh, okay. Um, can I 
inspect what the paintings in terms of the content do they change or do they seem to be so like it looks like so it's basically all, like all these adventurer types fighting giant toads yeah. right but but obviously like ancient archontean adventurers versions right um and so it basically like a warrior and a wizard are facing off on the left against like a couple of hopping giant toads um but they are perfectly square symmetrical sort of surrounding um what appears to be like this panel on the wall that is blank where the rest of like the wall is completely painted over with 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 um you know these uh, depictions Man, uh, just before i know you're going to do something cool with the little panel <laughs> there's a good chance it's going to close that door and you have the holy symbol on your side of the door we, i think that you're closes, right. is we can't get to you I think oh. you're right, uh, because I, I think, it, yes, yes, precisely. I mean, I can test it out, but in, if it closes and doesn't reopen, that's not great. So I think I'm going to come back, staying in the hallway. I'm not entering. Oh, I, I have the symbol now. I have my lantern, the gold I've left in the hall mm -hmm. on the ground. So one hand, one hand lantern, one hand symbol. Mm -hmm. I'm going to approach the guardian room, see what they do. Okay, so yeah, you... you, uh, you... Uh, go ahead, Mike. <laughs> how much food do we have? How much water do we have? Well, hold, hold I mean, on. We have a lot. Uh, no, this is important. Before we start doing David's crazy scheme, he's dude, coming back into the room. Right? Right, he's coming back to our room with us. Uh, but look at, your, look at your character sheets and find out how much you have. We have, I, I, mean, know, we I, stopped, I, I know how much I have. My my oh, my I'm my, great, th baby. my thought is is that I don't know if you can actually get past the statue as it's as it's standing there. You know what I mean? Oh, like it? Oh, it's that tight. Like it's, it it's, blocks it's, it's like standing up against the wall. Do you know what I mean? Oh, um, is there room to get the symbol out? Yeah, yeah, but it's That's a, a ma it's a massive twelve little... foot statue. You know what I mean? So I think you could. I don't think you could bodily move around it. But you could certainly like reach an arm or toss something or something like that. Yeah, it's yeah, still like on the you twine. Do that, you can pull it, pull it. Yeah, yeah you have a hundred feet of twine. Yeah, it's still on it. I'm going to kind of like credit card it through a slot mm -hmm. at, in in y'all's direction. It's not that tight. I mean, you know, I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, no, you, you know what I mean. No, I'm like, yeah. I'm like I, in other words, I, I want to be gentle to not like dislodge it from the twine. But yeah. you know, I, I'm yeah, also trying to not to go it. into the room if I can. And so you're going to toss the the symbol into the room by holding onto the twine. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we can retrieve it. Yeah. But I'm not entering the room. Gotcha. So the statues to do be not clear. move. <laughs> the statues do not move. You hear the you hear the symbol touch down. Plunk. You guys see the symbol. I, I pull it. I pull it to us. Uh. Wait. Okay. Yeah. You had the other end, Avaricios. Yeah. Okay. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, you 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 take it. You got it. Are you? Do you want us to come and move the statues, or are you going to try to close the door? Uh, or do you want to come out? What do you want? I think to that's do? well. I can't come out now, especially. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, if you want to come out, we'll we'll come get you. <laughs> what what do you like want to, to do? I would like to go up the stairs because I think it's going to be a quicker exit than than. Why don't you know, just like peek up the stairs a little? Um, bit. Okay, I'm going to do that real quick, John. If you, if you get murdered, yell real loud. Yes, before I pass the threshold of where this panel is, mm -hmm. can I do a close inspection of the floor around it for any like uh, uh, indentions, holes where darts might throw out, uh, throw themselves out, et cetera, et cetera? Can I look at the ceiling, see if there's anything irregular that might fall? I'm looking for a trap. Where this sure. sort of like it'll, it'll take a turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, you do not see anything. It looks like everything is very, very solid, but very, very untouched. Like every time you okay. move, like dust sort of like poofs up. I'm going to take a quick step forward, see if anything happens. <laughs> dust poof, makes you cough a okay. little bit. <laughs> All right. On to the stairway. Does the fresco continue up the stairway? It does, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It actually sort of marches up with the stairs, like the depiction of like this battle that goes on, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna yell back. Um, uh, if I'm not back in five minutes, leave me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, well, like okay. Half a turn. Yeah, that's half a turn. You, you, you they're gonna take off. I'm not, I'm not trying to take five minutes. I'm just letting them know. Yeah. That, okay. Like if I die, that, this is just I'm just role playing. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, wait, yeah. Did, uh, you, did you do the lever? Or are you going to leave the lever there? 
I'm going to wait on the leather for lever okay. lever for the moment. I'm wondering the lever either interacts with that that door or may interact with the stairs in some capacity, which is its own interesting outcome. But I'd like to look up the stairs first. Okay, so you start going up the stairs, right? They are. They're not like typical like dungeon like old you know like creepy stairs right they're 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 ten feet wide so they're like typical as you've seen but they they're very very well made set stone very few feet have been on them right Co coated in dust everything has just become sort of a cloud of dust as you sort of move carefully upward um, uh, the it goes unlike other stairs that you've been on which sort of kind of like switch back all the way up around right this just goes up and up and up steep 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 just keeps going and going and going um uh it, it there is no end in sight uh even beyond a turn do you want to keep going oh come down and get us all i'm sorry how many how many um how, how are you moving at 90 90 yes. okay do you want to travel for a turn no i'm not i'm 120 because i put the gold down right now you're the 120 okay so i'm sorry so way before a turn is over okay after 75 feet of traveling directly upwards okay <laughs> oh, he's happy, he's, he's happy. <laughs> you die uh, you hear a, a stone roll <laughs> right. remember, remember that you're moving you're moving southwards but upwards right yes uh, so after 75 feet of doing that uh, let me just that. check to see if it. Uh, should should I extend this hallway seventy five feet down? Uh, I actually well? need to get you on a. Oh, I should have done that for now. Um, just 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 draw in like a general area down there. Um, this is like a different level though. I, I should have right. made like a fresh map for you, but I I, I forgot. Um, I wasn't actually expecting you to do this. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, now the it. Uh, <laughs> I gotta see if it's uh if it's lit. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna get crushed. I better run so fucking fast back down these stairs. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, oh man. Okay, so it is unlit. Let me just double check. I'll make sure I get it right. Um, yeah. So your lantern light flares out as you enter, uh, in it. It, it doesn't it doesn't hit every single corner of the room because the room is so vast um but as you kind of take in what you see uh initially you can see that um you are in a long rectangular room for which you are entering from the middle of the northern side um to your right and left you can see that the width of the room is 50 feet you are entering in from directly from the north Okay. As you kind of so shine your feet on either side, or we're in the middle of you're in the mi middle of fifty feet. Like the width of the room is fifty feet. As you shine your lantern to the right and left, you can see that in the northwestern corner to your right, there is a Thothian teleportation circle. Um. The. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Now. Down the middle of the chamber on either side of you. Is a dragon. <laughs> Sorry. Now is a long hallway uh, that has imposing uh, eight foot tall statues. Um, the ceiling above you is 30 feet tall. Um, and the statues are kind of are arrayed like very, very close together, uh, each eight feet tall. Um, and they go off into the darkness and they don't, uh, you know, you can't see the end of them. They just kind of continue going down on either side of you all the way down. There's basically like two per square, right? Like two, two on each side of you. They just kind of go all the way down. You can also see that, um, uh, that, that 10 feet down on either side of the wall of this chamber, there are archways that actually, uh, look to enter into other rooms. Um, might be that there are more of those archways to the south, but you can't quite tell because your torch doesn't reach that far. Um, your breath sort of echoes as well. Now, uh, you can see that there are several piles of broken granite on the ground, and you do see what appears to be about, you see like two corpses lying 
in the center of the room as well. Wow. He didn't just get sleepy, David. Something happened to him. Yeah. Well, good, <laughs> good thing we have this thought symbol, right? You know, it's great. It's great. Uh-huh. <laughs> the thought symbol that you do not have currently? Yes. Um, um, that these okay. statues, can I can I tell if they have the character of Thoth or they look like one of those Abnalfa Gape statues from the pyramid that I discovered? So the the statues that you see are actually different than any other statue you've seen. So it's not Thoth. They do not appear to be gods. Um, uh, the first couple that you see, uh, let's see. They are, Hall of Heroes. So... First of all, the strange thing is, is that this, the, they, they depict people and all of the statues are actually facing outwards. They're actually facing the archways, like, right? They're facing the walls. Um, they're, uh, they vary too. Like, like all the statues are unique people. You can see that some of them are warriors. Some of them appear to be like sorcerers. Some appear to be priests. Some appear to be like lordly nobles, but none of them appear to be gods, right? None of them appear to be like strange, monstrous headed creatures or anything like that, right? Um, and they are all facing outwards towards the walls. Um, they are on. Where there are archways and doorways, you said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's, uh, and they are on plinths. Um, you can see that some of the broken granite is around the base of those plinths, um, but most of them appear to have, um, uh, uh, some of the, you can see your lantern light is actually reflecting off like that appears to be like engraved names on some of those plinths. Now with your torchlight, you can uh, let's see if you're standing right at the entrance, you can see one. You can see a total of right now uh, at the edge of your torchlight, you can see a total of eight statues, so four on either side of you. John, is this yeah. about accurate? What I have? Yeah, that's actually very good. Yep. Yep. Awesome. And that goes off into the darkness, right? You just have a feeling, like, just based upon, like, the way that those light dims, that there are, like, that goes all the way down the length of whatever the eventual length of the chamber is. Like, the statues just keep going down. Um, and how, how far down, you said that there were archways? Archways, the, there the they are, and, yeah, they are, they are, um, after 10 feet, there are archways. Okay, so it's like 10, 10 foot solid, 10 foot arch, 10 foot solid, 10 foot arch? Uh, like as you, far as you, you can You see. can't tw- tell, you can just see that you... you all you're seeing right now is just that there's an archway 10 feet down okay. to the east and 10 foot down to the west. And in that northwestern corner, there's a there's a teleportation circle. Well, it very much seems like a Hall of Heroes or something like that. Um, the Not to put my foot in my mouth or do must, the fact that there are inscriptions on the plants make me less inclined to think that Basculus froze all these fuckers and put them up there. <laughs> no, it is... I think it's pretty telling, though, that they're facing the archways as if there's danger to guard against coming from those archways. Right. So I think maybe the idea, if we travel through this, I don't know, spitballing, is that we travel between them and never deviate to the archways. Rather than going on the arch... You know what I mean? If that, if that supposition is true... Right. And we be- we believe on some level to be like aligned with this concept of the heroes, not the frogs. Then this protection stance you're talking about makes sense. And I would rather be like kind of like in Dolmenwood when we were on the ferry roads, right? Just like fucking stay on the path, don't right. get tempted. Um, I don't know. It's a thought. And on where uh, you know that you have never been in this room before, yes. Uh, but something about it. Um, tickles your memory as if you've seen a depiction of this room somewhere. It's it's yes. from the mosaic, isn't it's it? The it's mosaic. the mosaic. Fuck, you're right. On which we saw uh, statues. What else was on it? Hold on. Uh, stone corridor, blah, blah, blah. A huge room in white tiles, long rows of pillars, massive chamber. At the focal point, massive statue of Thoth. The pillars uh, are statues themselves, is what we wrote. And there's a... Uh, Teleportation portal. Yeah. Okay. So at some point, there's going to be a giant, giant statue of Thoth in this room, if the mosaic is to be believed. So this is pretty interesting to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so it may. You... I don't know. It may also be some palace exit. Right. I mean, that might be wishful thinking. Right. But we. Have, I did come up very high. There's nothing necessarily indicating that we're still subterranean here, just because yeah. light isn't coming through. There's no this light. Chamber yeah. itself, and it's a it could, it's thirty feet tall. It's like a huge. 
mass. Yeah. But there's, I don't think there's anything on the surface that was a big building like this. That was there's a few planet. palaces. But uh, that's in fact. That's where Vargadai was in the palace. Yes, yeah. but there were two. There were two segments, right? There was one on like the island in and of itself, right? And there was another that we crossed the bridge to get. There mm-hmm. were two. So it's possible. Well, I don't well, know. Without a single hole in the roof or anything like that. That seems yeah, no light. I mean, I don't fucking know, man. Yeah. It, of course, it's, I mean, yeah. we also don't know what time of day it is either. So yeah, this also could be just like right well, underneath the surface. You know, I mean, I've, tele- I've, I've telegraphed the time of day. It's just, it's just past eleven a.m. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. So I'm gonna not do anything right now. I'm gonna come back down. We got quick. a decision to make, boys. And and report this to the guys. You know what my opinion is, but it's not my choice. So right. it took a turn to you get guys up. Guys, think about it. It took a. I'm going to say it took a turn to get up, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, a turn to look around, right? And it's going to take another turn to get back down. Fair. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um, I know I'm going to sound like a big wuss here. My argument is that we go the direction that at least we know is going to lead out, right? We are loaded down with too much treasure. We have no shields. We have no helmets. We're all at like half hit points or lower. You have no spells. Like literally four kobolds who are feeling frisky can probably mow us down. Like I'm just like, it doesn't feel good to me. (laughs) I agree. My only Abaricios is is going to level as soon as we get out of here. My only contradiction is that I cannot climb with the gold. So we have several thousand gold. None of us. No, I'm just kidding. So we're leaving the gold, which means the XP that you want to take to the service to rest and survive with can't, is yeah. staying here well, for the half lane to climb, climb with it. We, can't we climb can it. also try and figure out a way to like tie it to ropes and haul it up after us or like whatever, you know? Like at least maybe we should go check out the chasm and see if these pythons and grappling hooks and all the rest of that shit are still there. Yost also tells you His, too that like, oh, that was the direct path that they took. But that there were many decision points that they didn't go down. Yes. Right. That this is the path that they took that got them here. Um, and they, he they fully went through a dungeon floor. Uh, according know. to him, Dalton, who is, who leads their band, um, like they're very similar to you. Like they're just like, let's see what's down here. Right. You know what I mean? Like like, like they you know they were just they were just generally exploring and making decisions off the cuff. And that just Could we like, ask it. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Could we ask if Dalton's alive? Well, as far as I know, I don't know. They were chased away. Yeah. Okay. No one died here with the guardians. We lost. Oh, like, but yeah. Here's, but, but we were separated. Another... They went back down the stairs, as far as I know. Maybe they ambush us the minute we get to them. By the way, guys, literally, Dalton owns this floor. They they scribbled in the graffiti when we first entered here, and they're all fucking rogues and scumbags. And <laughs> <laughs> well, just, good I'm just fucking saying, there have been a lot of hints at danger in the direction of Yost. Is very eager to get back to his friends. Is all I'm getting at, right? Like the Knights of the Azure Shield. This this is the band that they were looking for. Yes, exactly. Right? <laughs> mm-hmm. But those are the cops, man. <laughs> and, oh, no, man. And he likes the halflings. He likes them. He thinks they're good guys. Exactly. Exactly. I do. I look. I love it's Muscle Daddy, but I I don't <laughs> trust him as far as I cannot throw him because he's probably like two fifty. Uh, you know, yeah, he's a big, but a big boy. I don't. I, I'm sorry. I like him a lot. I don't trust him. I think we are walking into potentially an ambush, either from him or the halflings. But I also totally get your argument, Mike. I just think that the safer version is the way I came. And, Tbh. And here's 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 my point of view. Um, that climb for both Lefty and um uh. Uh, shoot, I forgot his name. Old, old Anaximander. dude, Anaximander. Anaximander. Yeah, that's gonna be brutal for us. Yeah, I mean ropes and all. I mean maybe somebody can just like carry us, but I've got one hand, um, and n- uh, no way to get it with my stump. And there are monsters and stuff there too. <laughs> Matt, usually we don't align so well. I love this moment for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, you know what? Well, okay, okay. Part of it's greed. Part of it's greed. <laughs> Because I think if we go, uh, I think if we go the cavern way, I think we're going to lose treasure. It's an issue. Whether it, it's if, the halflings or Dalton if, if or whatever. If you are to be clear, if you are directly backtracing Yos' route, uh huh, right? That's yeah. the big if. Like if you're, if you're trusting Yos with the information, if you think that it, if you if you're just following his lead, right? Um, that 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 will be the problem that you will you will have to face. Yes. 
And he how did. And he did hint that there are monsters watching him while they climbed. FYI, just just a head. How long would it take us to get back to the halflings if we take Yost's most direct route? How you. long? Uh... Yeah, how long did Yost? How long did it take you, my friend, to get across the chasm and all through the spear place and all that stuff? I'll give it a. I'm going to give you a very brief, like probably inaccurate assessment, but I'll try to do my best here. Give me a sec. Uh, let's see if they're. We'll say that they were moving at ninety. Um, one, two, three, probably. I'd say anywhere from like six to eight turns. Um, so an no, hour of, and of, a half of direct traveling. There's probably I would probably round that up to like ten, given all the encounters that they had and everything like that. Right. Okay. Right. Just but to be that's safe. An hour and a half, guys. In an hour and a half. We could be in two hours. We could be back at the end of the broken head. All right, all right. I have I have another another wrinkle in this, David. Another wrinkle. Oh, please. If we bring these schlubs up through this level, then they're all gonna know about it. I don't mind, honestly. Really? But yeah, I, I know what you mean. No, We're yeah. not schlubs. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I say that in front of you. I would never. I love you. <laughs> No, but but okay. So in two hours, we could be drinking beer and eating and recovering from wounds again, and shedding ourselves we take of an escalator back and don't die in the chasm while I, bats attack us. Look, <laughs> I have six you days of rations. <laughs> no, I have six days of rations and a water skin. Yeah, so do I. And nobody else got food. What are you talking about? You we talking all about? we all renewed Come food on. before I came back down. We all have six days of rations and a water skin. Do, do the schlubs? I don't care about them, and we can split it. It's fine. They, they, <laughs> they don't have food. <laughs> Look at this one. So, how many people in our party at this point? There's the four of us, if we include Mort. Yeah. Uh, don't forget Ibby. What does Ibby want to do? Does Ibby want to go? <laughs> nice try. <laughs> uh, you have uh, one, two, three, four, five other people. Okay. Five people. And te technically, plus us obviously, four. Mort is theirs, too. Yeah. Right. So that's like nine people. We're going to go through our food and let's see. I don't know. We have, say, 20 rations. Two days of food. But we're going to run out of water way before that. So I don't know, dude. I just, <laughs> I just want to get out. I just want to get out. <laughs> think, oh, think, oh, oh, up, up, baby, up. John, you broke Mike. You broke Mike. Um, my character, you my character lies and says, I think I saw an exit. <laughs> 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 all right so it, it it seems like uh like goran is not winning this fight is that, is that we need that we need to make a decision here yeah let's do it come on goran i love you i'm ready to get you killed again let's roll off for it <laughs> no we, uh, right. listen <laughs> that's not that's not how that works this is oh. bullshit because if ted were here he'd be on my side and doesn't like, matter 2v1 baby the votes are cast <laughs> Okay. You gotta respect the democratic process. Fine. Fine, I go along with the party, and if I die, David, my next character is gonna spend his entire <laughs> life just fucking you. If, if, you, if you die, Mike, I think this gets us out. If, if you die, Mike, you can take my 18, 16, 14 character I just rolled. How about that? Okay. So the the NPCs actually are they they dig this as well. I'm just kind of going with like what they would probably naturally feel yeah. like. Up to them sounds good. Um, they are a little bit depressed when they hear like it wasn't like just a, a direct stairway like right out of the dungeon you know what i mean um but they do like the notion that it is closer to the ground um or closer to ground level right um so uh what we'll say is is that using matt's great plan will um uh, you can get everyone into the secret door but i will say that it's it'll take time right? like it'll take another turn to get everyone yep. into the corridor mm -hmm. um but okay. but doing that you are it was that uh a little moment there for Matt, by the way, that was a killer idea, right? Um, oh, good. Uh, yeah, e excellent. Like, we'll find out if it kills us. <laughs> yeah. Can I just ask, though, John, because I lost the plot a little bit. When David was first doing his exploration, my torch went from five turns down to four. And then how long was he up there? Uh, actually, the, this is... You're right, actually, right? I have my note right here. Um, th th your torch goes out right now, actually. So the moment you actually step into... Every everyone's collected into the southern corridor um it goes out okay. do we still need it because we have david's lantern you have david's lantern right? yeah which has a substantial also, amount of time left 
There what, was where am I at now? That was that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You have yeah. Um, there was also a, a bullseye lantern in the um, in the equipment room when we uh, I don't know who has it. I don't know who has it. Uh, uh, you have fourteen anyway. turns left on your lantern on Weir. Oh, well, thank you. I, I I have uh I have three torches that have never been. I just can't carry one. So we're just we're just sticking with Onwear with the tor with the lantern. Uh, uh, yeah. My gold is on the floor now. Bear in mind. Okay. Can I affix the lantern to a belt or something? In my I can carry the lantern. It? I have okay. a, a hand free if I'm not. Right, I'll, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Now there is you're, you're all safely here. There is that panel that's framed. <laughs> when we're in. I think, yeah, let's, that, let's. That was your. Uh, I'm just uh, outlining what your concern was before. Now, now that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. And I think we want to do that so it will close the. That's what, what I suspect will happen. I, or I look, I flood the room that. with poison gas. One of the two. So no, 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 no. You're so always such a word. You have to have faith in it. I'm on the. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. When you press the panel. Fuck. Okay. Pieces of the wall actually go tick 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 in. Like they actually kind of overlap and separate out in like the four, like in directions, like radially, uh -huh. radially actually outwards, right? Uh -huh. Um, uh, one of those pieces is actually, actually the panel itself exposing a cavernous tunnel leading to the west. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love oh, it? God. Don't the, you the, love it? The secret door to the north that you came through does not respond to the wall panel being pressed, um, but it does expose what appears to be like uh, a dank, narrow, claustrophobic cavern-like uh, tunnel that wends its way westward. You can see when you kind of every so when you tell, we'll say you tell ever uh, onward to kind of shine the lantern in there. Um, that it continues crawling generally westward, but you can see that a branch of it about 20 feet uh, down also heads south as well. Also cavernous, or I should say like tunnel-like, not cavernous, tunnel-like. Narrow and claustrophobic. Uh, it it's starts, probably actually the uh, exit, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, where, where should I start drawing that? About 10 feet in? 15? Uh, where? What do you mean? Is it over here? Yeah, so the secret door is right there. Yeah, and it ge generally goes like westward, but after about 20 feet, it also goes southward. Let's go. I'm just doing it loose. Yep. Just a tunnel, so. All right. So there's that. Wow. <sighs> uh, what a dungeon. <laughs> what a dungeon. <laughs> it's good stuff, right? What do you do? Uh, I cry, John. Moving <laughs> 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 tears. I just had this. I want everyone to know that just because of this, everyone's going to survive. But Mike, it's just the fate, the fate <laughs> of this moment. Mike, when Mike plays <laughs> doors, he doesn't die. That's just sort of that's written. true. That's yeah. very true. Um, I'm not saying a thing because that will definitely jinx. Yeah, myself. keep your mouth shut. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, uh, what, what do you do? Okay, I, th I everyone's still, just everyone's I just like gate mouth, just like what the fuck. <laughs> I think, you know, Lysion provides. Um, still, it's a, Lysion has provided a spooky tunnel. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I still like the idea of going up. I don't like this. Feels this feels. It's just like a monster tunnel to me. I think yes. we go in there, I think guys are going to jump out and get us. So it's literally where they're fighting the frogs on the fresco, which indicates to me that the heroes are coming down here and maybe going and fighting in there. I don't fucking know, but you know. A, a section <laughs> of the wall where people are fighting. Fight. It's not the only okay. place where they were. Um, and, and, yeah, gotcha. Me, like, gotcha. It, but I, like, in my mind, frog, tunnel, <laughs> dank, you know? Like, yeah. I could be wrong, but you know. Uh, if there's like a procession of soldiers that are like getting ready to go to war, I don't know. I'm just imagining now at this point. I I think go up still, but uh, uh, yeah. I it's interesting like, that the, the like tunnel appears to be natural or perhaps delved or tunneled out by a creature of some sort, right? Like the Can vast majority that? of the dungeon you've been in so far has been yeah. worked stone, right? But it's obvious that the, the you know an Archontian at one point. Created an access point to this otherwise natural tunnel, right? So, just John, so can I determine that? Can I try and look at that tunnel and see if I see like 
claw marks versus tools versus water erosion versus something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, so it definitely looks like it was. Uh, oh, let me double check. Actually, that's a good, really good question. Um, the dwarf gets in real close and looks. <laughs> By the tickle to, of my beard. You got to lick it, I think, to to really. Oh get yeah, it. you got to taste it. That's of course. Way to, What's the taste like? Sure. What does it taste like? So it looks like um, it is not erosion or natural, like uh, like rock movement or anything like that. It kind of exposed like a vein or something like that. You know, it's it. Yeah, I mean, you're no expert, corn. Like you're, you, you, but um, uh. But from your experience underground, this looks quite likely that this was burrowed, uh, right? Like, okay. like cut through in some sort of way. That's all you can tell that it was likely a a, de a deliberate um, tunneling, right? Like, like by by a sentient mind. I tell everybody that it looks like some sort of beastie. But there's like it's not it's like its way through the rock. You can tell that it was definitely not likely human, only because like there's no it's not like a mine shaft that has like like a wooden supports every you know right. once in a while. It's not like that. Can I ask one follow up question? Mm -hmm. The stature of the frogs versus the humans does it indicate a general height or size, and does that map at all to the claustrophobic size of this tunnel? Uh, does that make sense? No, it's difficult to tell. The, the frogs are giant in comparison oh, to are. the humans, okay. like they're like they're abnormally um, sized, right? But they're so they're but, so they're about the size of the humans themselves, right? Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. But they have cute little smiles on their faces. Oh, like they're friendly. Yes, lots of them are depicting like tongues, like lashing out and wrapping around <laughs> victims, but loving, like lovingly, yeah. like in the yes, embrace. Yeah. Okay. The ground here is also not like perfectly flat. It's very like rough and rounded. You know what I mean? Like it's all of like one piece, sort of like the whole thing. It's like a tunnel, right? All right. I one more question. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm listening. Again, recalling back to this hidden statue, mouth agaping underneath the pyramid. Was it not kind of amphibian, or was it reptile? There was. Does it does it look like it might be affiliated with frogs? Wait. What? What? What are you referring to that you saw before? The statue I found in the sec like the secret plunger oh, statue yeah, yeah, yeah. under the pyramid, right? Right. That I was like, that's a weird statue. What is that beast? Right? Does it look yeah. at all amphibian? It, or it, 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 it definitely like what you saw was definitely amphibian. Uh, you know, more than anything else, when I described it, was actually like it was like a humanoid salamander sort of head, right? Like a, like a the massive. Right you know, like kind of pointed snout, yeah. right? But it was on like huge, thick thighs, right? Like 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 obscene yeah. thighs. That's know? what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. I, I love an obscene thigh, but... Uh, <laughs> How many seas are I on that? Think, I think the, those statues are affiliated with the frog people, which is curious because the statues are hidden <coughs> within the Arkantian ruins. So is this like different eras of inhabitation like did the archontians build this tunnel hewn of stone where the frog tunnels already were in other words and now we're discovering like an untraversed version of that i don't know man i think that's that's, that's my it. suspicion right I'm not saying so, right or wrong so, but I, I just like that you guys are trying to piece it together which is fantastic. so so like i think i think these are the original inhabitants and and we, we came crusading in or the archontians came crusading in and tried to make it theirs and then i don't know baby i don't know baby okay <laughs> with that in mind i'm a fucking not going in that tunnel no <laughs> way with that, with that in mind i reached up and i Push the panel to see if it'll yeah. close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Actually, does it? Does it close back? It, it does close yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good. So, yeah, that was actually going to make that uh, the the end of the session was you're determining wow. which way you were going. So you were going to go up the stairs. You're going to mark that yeah. this tunnel's here. Yeah, Mike. Can I smear that door with feces? <laughs> <laughs> Warn the baboons away. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. So you, uh, we'll, we'll end it right there where you're going to walk back up into that giant lofty 30 foot hall, just high hall. You're fairly sure that that was what was depicted in the mosaic, but you have yet to shine your lantern all the way down to sort of get the full breadth of what this room offers. So this is a, actually a perfect place to stop. And we'll, we'll start back up with you entering that massive hallway. 
Also, I would um, just like to point out that you guys are in so much trouble with Ted. When he no, I know. You are, you are in I so know. much trouble with Ted. I don't yeah. want to hear. I don't. I don't want to hear a week's worth of him and Hine on that Discord. All right, the decision's <laughs> been made. There's no changing the vote after the fact. This isn't there, Florida. <laughs> there are a few people who are actually waiting. Three, three PCs out of the four have a level waiting in the wings for them when they get back. <laughs> <laughs> Both Onweir, Mort, and Avaricios I do, I do, all yeah. all going to level up when they get back uh, to the end. Gorn, I'm still, still level one. one. That's so yeah. that's actually kind of ironic. The one guy who doesn't have a level waiting is the guy who's like, "Let's get back to the end." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love you it. You know how hard it is to get your character up to level three. It's really hard. It's really hard, and yeah. you don't I want to throw it away. <laughs> yeah, you would know. I remember, yeah, it was yeah. like, you know, a, while, a few weeks ago. Yeah, Damon's uh, never experienced, like, the, the mid-levels of OSC. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> David, what's the longest stretch you've had a character? What is the longest number of sessions that you've gone? Yeah, that's a good question. In, in OSC versus, like, uh, our, like, 3.5 game is the longest? No, no, obviously. in OSC. OSC. Oh, no, OSC, yeah, I mean, Not long. this is it. Pretty much, you know what I mean. Like I, I, I'd be lucky if I've ever gotten to level four. But also, like in fairness, we we're the most consistent players. Our group, you know, right? Like any other yeah. any other game I'm playing, there's fewer sessions, so it's also a an issue of time, Very true. which increases my risk. You know, like uh, uh, taking. You know, <laughs> always see the fun levels are all these levels, anyways. Yeah, no. Yeah. Like I just want to point out, not to sound like a real piece of work, but. <laughs> I was level one and found the passage. I didn't need to be level three to poke my, my fingers yeah. in the same size, all right? You speaking know what of, I mean? Speaking of which, uh, with generally OSR, I don't know if the viewers out there notice as well, but not a yeah. single die was rolled the entire yeah. session. Oh, ooh, the perfect, the perfect, <laughs> perfect old sesh. school yeah. session. Perfect sesh. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's, it's, it's been my experience. Yeah. It's been my experience that when you have to roll a die, you've already lost. Correct. Yes. Not you are not wrong. There are many blog posts 100. about that exact subject, Mike. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Cool. Well, that was a that was a great session. I, I loved it. Um, yeah. Uh, the spiral stairs is so close, <laughs> but that's uh, ah! yeah. I'm, I'm 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 very thrilled that you took it in an unforeseen direction, which is great. Uh, so we'll see what happens when they enter the Great Hall next time. Uh, be fine. Right. And uh, be yes, great. so uh, I hope everyone enjoys it. Don't forget to please like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you're new here, and spread the word, please. Um, you've been watching 3D6 Down the Line, and we will see you next time. Have a great week, everybody. Take care. Bye. Yep. Thanks, John. Thank you, John.